Hey you guys, thanks for making it over to my YouTube channel and being a part of the Phoenix journey. This is Christy Story. Happy to have you here. Thank you. That was fun. It's really fun. It's really fun. Uh, when you first got there, I was a little worried. I was like, uh-oh, can she get through this? What were you feeling? I was nervous. Yeah. I told my friend Jemba and I felt like a kid that was being dropped off like at the first day of school Aww. because <laughs> I just don't leave me. I just wasn't really sure how I was going to feel. Yeah. And I was, I was a little nervous, to be honest. You, like, you really enjoyed it. You were I such loved a it. trooper. I loved it. You're a girly girl. Yeah, you made it fun. And you made me feel really comfortable. And I want to hear more about your cancer, because okay. we really didn't talk much about that. And you were saying that this is important for you to get out. It is. Um, and I think that your situation is so unique. And I think it's important to get out too. Yeah, so it's very important. Uh, I grew up in West uh, Hills okay. on Roscoe and Valley Circle mm -hmm. near Rockadine. Mm -hmm. And Rockadine mm -hmm. dumped a bunch of waste and they never cleaned it up. Into and the Santa Susana Pass? Yes. Mm -hmm. So there has been all sorts of, you know, things, but they still have not cleaned it up. And there's hundreds and hundreds of people that have cancer um, from my neighborhood, all sorts of you know, unusual again, I'm not the typical pancreatic cancer candidate. I'm not, mm -hmm. it's usually male, mm -hmm. it's usually older, smoker, drinker, overweight. I, I mean, I couldn't be farther right. from the typical case. I don't have any of it in my family. They tested the tumor. It's not genetic, it's environmental. Mm -hmm. So it's important to me that people don't know who live there with kids. You know, mm -hmm. you know, my parents feel terrible. They didn't realize, you know, and it's, my doctor says it really attacks more developmental age. Mm -hmm. So Meaning if what? you are an adult living there and move there, you probably won't get something. But if you are between the ages of two and 18 and live there, mm -hmm. that is generally when you contract it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come out until the age of adult, but usually somewhere between 45 to 55. That's so crazy. Yeah, it's scary. Oh. Yeah, and my brother also has brain that. cancer, and he lived there also. He was a couple years older than me. Oh so. And your brother is adopted, you said? Yes. Yeah, so, so it's, it's, not, it's clearly not genetic. Yeah, it's not genetic. Wow. So tell me, um, how did you know you had cancer? Where did it start, and how did it progress? Yeah. And tell me about that. Um, I started having stomach pains, like January, February, but more just kind of like, my stomach feels a little bloated. I just thought, oh, I'm getting older it's you know whatever change of life you know no big deal I nothing think we all think that yeah right? nothing we get pain nothing alarming yeah. um but then in late april it started hurting worse and, and it started when the pain started when you said march pain started in march not so much pain but like my stomach was bloated you mm -hmm. know but the pain really came at the end of april to the point that i said oh i must have like I've never had a kidney stone or a gallstone, but that was my, you know, suspicion. I was like, sure. I must have something because right. it just all of a sudden became so painful. Right. So I was making a birthday cake for my boyfriend, I'll never forget, May 1st, and I couldn't finish decorating the cake. And I thought, okay, this is, this is, not, this right. is not, you know, something's not right. And I called my OB and said, you know, my stomach is, you know, something's not right. So... They made an ultrasound appointment for May 2nd, the next day. I went to the ultrasound. The pain got so increasingly worse just in those 24 hours that I didn't even wait for the results. And then I came back home and I ended up going to the ER um, and just thought, oh, I must, I must have. Appendix? You know. Did you think appendix? I, my appendix has already been removed. Oh. So I thought like maybe kidney stones or gallstones. That was my guess. I've never had it, but mm -hmm. I thought, oh, that must, must be that. Mm -hmm. Must be that. Mm -hmm. So and it was during COVID, so they wouldn't let my boyfriend in, so I was alone. I went in, they gave me a CT scan and an MRI. And about 40 minutes, they came back, and not even a doctor, the nurse, like, tech, told me that, oh, by the way, you have, like, a mass in your pancreas and um, something all over your lungs and your liver. I'm pretty sure it's cancer. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? And then a doctor came in and said, oh, we need to do a biopsy. Now that we've told you this, we'll let your boyfriend come in for 20 minutes and then he needs to leave. One thing I can tell people, if you have a little, you know, broken arm or something, you know, no big deal. But if you're diagnosed with cancer, make sure you get to the right doctor yeah. first from the beginning. That's really good advice. Yeah. yeah. I think that's important for people to know.
Um, we did the prayer box. I Were you it. surprised? I love yes, I love it. I yeah. love it. So yes, please. You read it. I love it, sure. Love it. Christy, the warrior princess. How I love Saturdays with Christy. You're the strongest warrior I know. I love you. My friend Abby. Mm -hmm. She's been I know Abby. She's been with you from the very beginning.